Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. Thanks for joining us on our 2021 Chevy Silverado 2500 rebuild. Where we're gonna get this thing fixed. The final bid was 9,100, which isn't bad compared to the that retail value of over $70,000. Getting it back to the shop wasn't bad, but man, getting this thing off the trailer was definitely sketchy. It rolled right off and almost into another car. Ooh, close one. Definitely took a hard hit, but this is the one we're gonna fix. So first thing you gotta do before we build anything up is actually tear down. There's actually a lot of good parts on here. So we're just gonna start taking apart piece by piece, making an organized junk pile and sort through it later on what we need and what we don't need. Now we get to the engine, which is the heart of this truck for sure. Unfortunately, the little aluminum plano was cracked, so we need to order that, get that replaced, and honestly, so many parts all around, body. It's time to look for a parts car. Next logical step would be finding ourselves a parts car, because all those parts will definitely add up and be ridiculously expensive. So find ourselves a little donor vehicle. We have a good interior, and this thing is basically just a burnt interior and burned everywhere else. So I think it'd be a perfect fit for our rebuild. Unfortunately, we can't use the engine, it's actually a 6.6 gas, but either way, still front end, great parts. Got ourselves for $10,000. All right, let's get this thing in the shop. Next step is basically harvest all the good parts and get it going. Out with the old, get it cleaned up, all that fire damage, everything that we know is trash, just go ahead and rip it out, throw it away. We went ahead and got this thing completely removed down to the frame, every brake hose, every single sensor, leaf spring completely removed to get this thing sandblasted so we get it back to OEM spec to put it back together.
Finally, the teardown is done. Now we can move forward to get these things parts primered and sealed. Now that we actually have some good parts to put these other parts into, we're going to, go ahead and take this one apart as well to get this diesel engine out because we are saving this, the wire harness and all the internals we're going to reuse. Just going to go ahead and do a quick cab swap, frame swap, and bed swap. From body work to parts taking on and off to mechanical engine work, man, this truck's got everything.
finally we're gonna get some color on this truck. Oh yeah, going with red, looking good. Since we got it all taken apart, we went ahead and put some sound dampening material because I know we're going to put some big tires on this. It's going to be off-roading, all that road noise. Definitely going to cancel it with the sound damping material. Now it's time to take the interior off our bad cab, basically the one that got rolled over. Every single piece we're going to take and transfer over to our new cab.
go ahead and prep our Rough Country lift kit pieces to make it stand out.
All the little detail parts are on, on the frame, inside. Now it's time to mate them together to make it actually look like a truck again. Now that we know it runs, go ahead and put all the final pieces on, bun it up together.
what a transformation. Months of work, headache, problem solving, figuring out the issue to making a huge, unique, one of a kind, beautiful truck. But thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe, make sure you hit that like button, leave some comments down below. Love all your feedback. Let us know what you thought about this project, this build, this kind of recap as well. Thanks for all your support and we'll catch you next time.